Oh, 60 for it. Go! I... No, no, no. about this one. I, I mean, I've always been of the opinion that stages don't really matter at our level. Yeah. Like... Take. Except for, like, obvious outliers. Like, I don't think this, they're not bad for, like, the this matchup. Like, that works out. But, like, in general, like, it's not all that much at our level. No. I mean, yeah, but, like you're saying, like empty yeah. and maybe dream are the two polarizing stages. Dream might not even that bad. That was kind of... Well, what I was gonna say was like, but I feel like both of these guys are the kind of guys who get like squeeze every little bit out of the game. So they'll go for like, so they'll go the, for, like the correct, correct stages. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think that can, I think that can both be helpful and. Yeah, Sario, uh, Romeo's actually going crazy. Yeah, he's playing well. He's having a really good day. He, he, he said that he thought going to the Smash World Tour would like, be level. For sure. And yeah. clearly, uh, he's providing the results right now. Mm -hmm. like, he's still in that same mindset, very clearly. It's cool. Let me see. Yeah, I love to see it. I really want to go back to Amazing. Chip is shit so high. Yeah. It, I don't know if that was the first time, but it was definitely not often that I've been popped out of when I was to For sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hit me for that. Let's go! <laughs> oh, <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fucking fight to him. Get him the main back. <laughs> You're a top player in the level, bro. What is it? Yeah, right, expect? dude? Fuck. Huh? Yeah? What's it like? I don't like being known. What's it feel like? <laughs> now you know what it's like to be me. Yeah, right? Let me be 80 of Jerry without even knowing. Right? Take! Yeah, it's cool to go to the CFL local yesterday and, and not a lot of people enjoy really this. Was Lean there? Yeah. I bet Lean there. Yeah. We, we played in bracket. <laughs> oh, again? Yeah, we were round one. Yeah. Or, I guess it was round two, but uh, super close 2-0. Or 2-1 for me. Oh, wow, again? Yeah, yeah. Nice, that's 2-0 lifetime? That's, that's, yeah. And that's literally the same exact way it went last time, I think. Um, I was he, there. I think he won game one. Yeah, I remember. And then I took a Miyoshi's. I don't know what I took a Miyoshi's this time, and I won. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, I took a Miyoshi's Pokemon, which is what I did last time, too. But transformations were still on. So I told him before, like, right before he picked it, he's like, Ooh, I'll on. I was like, oh, sick, no transformations. There, or something along those lines. Because the whole uh, Smash World Tour was with transformations, no neutral spawns, you know, all the shenanigans. Um, so I was, I was, that's the only reason I said it. Yeah. And, um, and they were still on. And they were still on. And he looked, like, he kind of, like, glanced over at me and said, I was like, oh, I'm And we just played it out. It was uh, only one rock transformation. <laughs> But it didn't even matter. No. I really wanted there to be like someone get like spiked through the middle of the stage, you know? How, like, it right? Yeah. Them. That happened during the mid-tier bracket. For they were, real? They were no doing, way. They were doing Mario and Zelda, and um, and yeah, the the fucking the Zelda kicked him into the tree, fell right through the stage, and the guy did not recover because he was Mario. So. Really? Didn't like plop like shine oh. S2J through the center? No, no, no. Um, S2J uh, stomped. Or, I forget what sent him down there, but S2J stomped him to because he was trying to recover back up with Uppy, and he just stomped him and killed him for it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah S2J won that interaction. Yeah, yeah, and won the game. That, it happened like one other time. Like, Notorious, yeah. But yeah, I wanted that to happen as Smash Bros. Cooper, so we could all just say, like, okay, yo, yeah. <laughs> can we never play with this shit ever, I guess? But dude, one one thing that happened is there is, uh, and, and the organizers warned me before. Oh, he doesn't say oh, no. Alright, um, the organizers, um, told me that there's a power strip that's the main power strip for two full tables of setups, so it's eight total setups. Yeah. And if that gets unplugged, everything gets unplugged. Sure. And of course, of course it, it gets is. unplugged mid 30 sets for all eight of those. Um, of course, and during pools. During pools. And we're just like, alright, everybody, you know, turn it back on, I should go on and reset it off with everything. We used to all BCF and stuff like that too. Um, yeah, in case we're kind of wrong. Um, but it, it happened. I was like, oh shit. And we were warned about it. Here it goes. And no one really complained. They were just like, oh, it's fucking um, how, did, how did it happen? So there's a there's a wheel of like, an extension cable. Um, and there's one main plug that plugs into that, and that was like max range. So the plug was kind of just sitting there outside the wheel, and someone stepped on the cable and just unplugged the whole thing. Um, then. Uh, I was playing my pools, and it happened again. No. That was my mid-set versus ADMJ. It was like, it was the start of game two, it was like, three stocks of three, and, and it unplugged. And I was like, ADMJ? ADMJ is a peach player from 
Jacksonville or Tallahassee or something like that. Um, uh, Ice Fighter also beat him at the Gator Lane then. But apparently, Medium is really good. Uh, box player as well. Um, but, uh. Oh! Um, so, 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 yeah, yeah, we just, like, I was just restarting the game, no big deal. And, uh, I ended up putting the game in the next loop. But, and then it happened one more time the next day. It was three separate times. It was fucking bullshit, dude. The, the third time? Yeah, there was no other way to set the shit up. Yeah. 